Okay. Now, when I finished up on those ECM motor testers, uh, when we talked about the razor and uh, the harness and everything that comes in the package, I didn't talk about the competition, what's out there. They've got uh, a couple different tools. One was a uh, TechMate uh, that goes for about $75 to $95 uh, at the wholesaler to the AC contractor. And then they've got one made by Zebra Instruments. That's about $300. So you know, when I made this razor and this kit, uh, I want it to be reasonable priced for the contractor. And uh, uh, by the time it's uh, marked up and everything, you're probably looking at about $39. Uh, 99 or 40 bucks or so and uh, let's go ahead and move on uh, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the short pro tool and uh, that's this device right here and uh, what we're going to show is the competition we've got uh, a couple of different ones we've got what they call is the popper it's a three amp breaker and when you purchase it it's got the wire leads on it the alligator clips to attach to the 24 volt system and uh, these of course when you get a short it'll pop and you got to run back and forth to reset it now a lot of contractors say this does the same job as a short pro but it really doesn't the only way these trip is has to have a direct short on that 40 VA transformer so we're talking 9 to 12 amps when it gives you a, a direct short it'll pop and uh, break the circuit uh, another one that's out there on the market is this one right here that looks sort of similar to the short pro tool and the way it's designed and it's got a 3 amp breaker at the top also so it has to have at least 3 amps or more and most of the time that's just going to be a direct short before it can pop or uh, find that short for you now any decent service technician knows a 40 VA transformer how much current it can handle uh, you take the 40 VA's and divide it by the secondary voltage of 24 volts that'll give you 1.66 amps that the typical 40 VA transformer can handle anything uh, above that well the transformer is going to burn out so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and demonstrate the short pro just to show how fine-tuned it is to a 40 VA transformer short and it can catch that 1.5 1.6 amp short uh, what I've got wired in here and just to do a quick lesson if you wind this in there's two wires coming out of the secondary this side of the transformer it's a blue wire and there's going to be a yellow wire. Now let's just pretend this is like a car battery. We'll say the blue wires are negative and the yellow wires are positive. You'll notice everything afterwards coming out of your short pro tool or whatever you're demonstrating uh, it's got a red wire coming out of it. So we can maintain that as being the positive side make it easier to understand how to wire it up. And what I've done here is I've got this resistor that comes in the package right here. And uh, I'm going to simulate the 1.5, 1.6 amp uh, current draw across uh, this circuit just to show that the short pro tool can find that short and how long it takes to do that. And that's something the, the other type of uh, the popper or the other types of short locators, they just can't do it. 2 amp short or anything that can actually burn up that transformer it will not find it has to be a direct short and I've got this white jumper lead going to one side of this resistor and then the yellow wire coming out of the transformer secondary going through the short pro tool and to the other side and I'm just going to add one more thing to the circuit and what this is doing is it's also powering up the coil of this contactor and that way I can generate about 1.6 amps or so. Now I've got a timer here I'm going to start and we'll turn this on and if you can see the numbers on the timer you can keep up with the time and how long it'll take the, the trip the short pro tool. Now on this device here it may be too bright out here but you got your primary voltage and it's got 
six amps right here going across this meter just to, to show exactly what it's drawing to prove that the Shore Pro tool can find this. And I'm going to hold this up. Now the Shore Pro tool has got the two alligator clips you can clip into your circuits. But unlike these other two, it automatically resets. It doesn't have to be manually reset to get the power back to it. This automatically resets. It's got a LED light at the top. When it does trip, you'll see the LED light up. And you'll notice, if you can see this any very well, you'll see all that will zero out at the bottom, showing that there's nothing drawing any excessive current. It's doing its job and protecting everything. Well, we're going on to about a minute and 17 seconds. Let's see how long now. From a cold start, most of the time it'll take about 2 minutes and 30 seconds, 2 minutes, 50 seconds around there. Because it's got a PTC device in there that's uh, sensitive to temperature also. So if it's a cold day or from a cold start, it takes a little bit longer, but nothing longer than you know 2 minutes and 50 seconds or so for it uh, the trip, the LED. If it's a warmer room or a warmer day, well, it won't take so long. Or if it's already tripped once, there it goes right there. Looks like it took a total of 2 minutes and 8 seconds to trip this LED light. And if you can see this very well, it's all zeroed out there, so there's no excessive current doing any damage. Uh, the Short Pro tool is the only thing out there that will automatically reset and will protect all the circuits. It's always giving current at a safe level. Now I'm going to turn this power off for right now. And what I'll do, uh, it took 2 minutes and 8 seconds for it to trip this Short Pro tool. And let me give a benefit of a doubt for the other guys. What I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and wire in. Now let's just do the popper. We got one wire going here. go ahead and run that same deal we got the contactor and this resistor is going to have power let me hook everything up okay let me start the timer put that there so we can see it and i'll turn it on and if you can see it okay, it's about 1.6 amps. It's drawing at 122 volts, 121. It's going back and forth. That's a primary voltage to the transformer. We'll give the other competition uh, the benefit of a doubt. Uh, anybody can tell you that anything at that 1.6 is the max you want to put on that transformer anything above that up to 2 amps uh, even more than that these other ones cannot find it it has to be at least 3 amps and, and beyond and most likely it's going to have to be a direct short that's going to make these poppers trip and on a 40 VA transformer you're looking at about 9 to 12 amps on a direct short sit here and, and wait for a minute and uh, just to go over the wiring again this transformer here on the secondary it puts out the 24 volts that we're testing all this on we're looking for a short with 
one wire is going to be blue, which is your common ground. And the other leg of power is this yellow wire right here. And you want it to go through any type of protection like a short probe reset fuse or some type of fuse or protection breaker and then to the rest of the air conditioning or heating circuits would be after that and what I did was I wired in this resistor right here and uh, also the coil of this contactor relay up here to try to get the 1.6 amps that we need just to prove the point that the short pro tool it's fine tuned to the 40 VA transformer and when you get a 1.6 2 amp type of short it's definitely going to find it for you it's the only thing out there that can automatically reset and protect all the circuits always putting out the 24 volt current always at a safe level Well, it's been two minutes and 48 seconds. Well, we can wait for a millennium, and it's just not going to happen. Uh, you just can't find it. It won't trip on this type of current on these other type of devices. I'm going to turn the power off, and then I'm going to stop, and we'll go ahead and test out the resettable fuse.